What's up, everybody? I'm John McLean with FPS Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we're going to let my love Kelly and her brother Michael uh, both shoot the 5.0e and see what they think about it upon their initial um, reaction to actually firing the 5.0e. But before we get started, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be made aware of when I drop other videos uh, like I have with the recently dropped Vortex Defender ST Red Dot and the new videos that are coming out uh, concerning my Terran Tactical Combat Master Pistol that I just received back from TTI. So uh, with all of that having been concluded, let's jump into the video. <laughs> Initial thoughts, now that you've fired your first rounds through it, what do you think? Shoots good. Any complaints or anything you're noticing or? No, not really. Now trigger feels okay? Yeah. Nothing. Of course like... I'm used to heavier, shitty triggers. Right. You know, no no custom jobs or just factory oh, I mean, stuff. that's not a custom job either. Well, I, I know, but I mean for, yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. <laughs> I mean, I feel like uh, feel like it's working pretty good for you. Do yeah, this real quick. I've, I've only missed. One. All right, what's up, everybody? John McLean here, and I'm here with my brother-in-law, Mike. Mike, first time shooting the 5.0e. Uh, we compared it with the Terran Tactical Combat Master, right, side by side. So, um, what's your level of shooting? Novice. Novice. Okay. Extreme novice. So, I mean, for for a novice, like I was trying to explain, like like firearms, it's kind of like guitars. When you're a beginner, you don't understand what's the difference between a Fender and a Gibson and a less, you know, whatever. And then as you get better, you start noticing, oh, this one's got a nicer tone. This one's sustained. So shooting, I always feel is the same way. But being a novice and then literally being able to shoot the Combat Master and then immediately going to the 5.0, what did you notice? Uh, less, less muzzle flip. Less, so visually you were seeing less mm -hmm. uh, information, I guess we could yeah. say, right? Yeah. Uh, what did it feel like? Because like I, I can definitely say that I noticed the the recoil impulse. Like, granted, the Combat Master is significantly lighter yes. than the 5.0, but that that weight does equate to something, right? So, um, I mean, what did you experience as a novice from from the two platforms as far as like the recoil impulse and the actual like the feel of the recoil? It seems like it's it's less with the 5.0. Perfect. All right. Well, there you go. See, he doesn't even work for the company. I did just give him some free ammo, but don't don't let that be a factor at all. So, <laughs> all right, <clears throat> ah, frog in my throat. Well, we're gonna shoot some more, but uh, we'll go away. Several days later. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we have my beautiful here. And she's gonna try the 5.0B, but first we have a Canik TP9 SFX uh, that I hope the battery is. <laughs> no, it's not. So you're just gonna have to guess how to aim with this. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it'll be fun. Don't mind the lack of fling. I think she can still. I think you can still hit that big target. But either way, uh, we've got 15 rounds in her TP9 SFX uh, nine millimeter from Canik. And then we have 15 rounds of the 5.0E from RIA USA. So she's going to shoot the Canik first because that's probably one of the, the last guns she shot. It's been a while since she shot. Um, and then she's going to put that down when she's done. She'll pick up the 5.0E. She'll shoot so she'll have that direct comparison of the difference between the recoil feel and impulse and all that stuff. Uh, and then we'll see what she thinks about it. So whenever you're ready. It's a little cold outside too, so... <laughs> So 
have a little for headshot. I should be worried. <laughs> okay, 5.0 coming up. Come on. Okay, so let's, you had that direct, it's been a while since you shot a handgun. Yeah. So. And I've never even really messed with that. Right. Yeah. Now, okay, let's let's talk about the the big thing first, the trigger difference. How, how different was that as far as the, the feel, the pull, and the mindset behind it? It was super smooth. Uh, didn't really feel any big, a huge reset or anything. It was, it was smooth. I liked it. And then the recoil impulse difference between huge, huge, and even these guns, it's not, it's not huge. But like I said, I haven't shot in a long while, so I definitely felt way more recoil with this cannon than with the 5.0 E for sure. Okay, let's let's shoot some more. Well, there you have it, straight out of the mouths of two people that don't work for the company. Uh, I can't say they don't see some perks because they do know me, but um, I also think the videos kind of speak for themselves when you when you actually watch the muzzle uh, recoil, whether or not it was the past video that I posted or this video. I mean, you do see a definite reduction in how much muzzle movement there is. And what we're talking about is like, you know, say we're covering um, the difference between like, 45 degrees of movement versus only like 35 degrees of movement. Um, I'm mean, I think it pretty much speaks for itself. Now, with that being uh, the point and the case of this video, then really what I want to challenge you as the viewer to do is to try and get your hands on one and experience it yourself because all the videos in the world, Okay, especially I, I know you got to take mine with a grain of salt because I work for the company. Um, you know, people can either trash stuff or they can praise stuff all day long. But until you actually get a chance to put your hands on the firearm and to actually feel that recoil and see the sight movement um, under fire for yourself, I, you know. Make that judgment call. Do I think it's a great gun? Absolutely. And I look forward to running it for competition. I actually, um, I have a couple matches in mind that I'm planning on shooting it. One of them is going to be in Steel Challenge. I got a couple IDPA matches. Um, and then maybe even Bianchi is going to be another uh, competition that I think this pistol is going to do extremely well in. And hopefully I can do it justice. Um, so, you know, like I said, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because those videos are on the way. They're, they're going to be videos of me running the 5.0E in the match setting, in the competition setting, and even with me training with them. So if you'd like to keep up with what happens with that firearm and how it progresses, then you're definitely going to want to stay tuned and check those other videos out. But I am John McLean with FPS Outdoors. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. You guys have no clue how much I appreciate each and every one of you that does it, and I look forward to making more more videos for you guys to check out. So until then, I'll see you on the next one.